So I've been getting a ton of questions on where to actually enter uh, a trade when you're scalping on the one minute, three minute, five minute time frame with Easy Algo, right? And actually, this can be applied to any time frame. Uh, but I'm going to be using the five minute time frame for this example, just because that's what most people trade with um, when they're trading with Easy Algo, right? Using the strategies that I teach, they're using the five minute time frame. Now, you should not be entering solely based on the buy sell signals, right? The buy sell signals are confirmation once you're already in the trade. So the first mistake I see people make is they're blindly following signals, right? They don't have any strategy in place for every user that DMs me and says, hey, Matt, you know, I just lost two trades. Can you help me out? I say, yeah, sure. First things first, what are your rules for entering? They say, what are you talking about rules for entering? I'm like, okay, so you don't have a strategy in place. So you're not going to be profitable if you don't even have a strategy in place and don't even know what you're doing. You need to take a notepad and pen out and write your rules for entering and exiting. You need to have that plan beforehand. If you're just blindly entering trades, following buy and sell signals when the meat of the move has already been missed, of course, you're not going to become profitable, right? The reason I have the buy and sell signals there uh, are, are because they act as a confirmation, right? Once you're already in a trade or in some trades, you know, they could be uh, used as your enter and exit, but you don't want to go based off the buy sell signals, right? That's why easy algo is different than every other buy sell indicator because we have the automatic support and resistance levels, which is the main bread and butter. Uh, when you're trading, you need to keep in mind these levels. So I'm going to show you how you know I've been trading this sideways ranging market on the five minute time frame using Easy Algo. Now, if you don't have Easy Algo already, be sure to hit the first link in the description below to get yourself this indicator and join the VIP Discord. All right. So once you join the Discord uh, and put your trading view username uh, in the Start Here section, you're going to come up to here, right? You're going to come up to Indicators, go to Invite Only Scripts, and then you're going to click on Easy Algo V2. Right? Mine's right here. So we're going to click on Easy Algo V2, and when it loads in, it's going to look something like this, right? We're going to make this as simple as possible. You need to get the rules down. So we're not going to use SR2. We're going to set the stop loss to zero. So this is going to be no stop loss and take profit. We're going to be doing that ourselves, right? And the sensitivity, we're going to put to 0.5, right? So the lowest sensitivity possible. And you're going to see why uh, in just a second. So one other thing I want to mention is at the time, this was the high level, right? The levels change as price fluctuates. So, you know, a couple of hours ago, this was the high level. Um, and these are the trades we're taking, right? We're entering at these levels. We're entering at these low levels. These are the most high probability trades, right? You can see there is this uh, area of interest here on Easy Algo. There's this area of interest right at around here where there's a ton of buyers in this area. That is going to be um, our most optimal entry. And, you know, the short positions will be made, you know, at these levels right around here, right? You can see we have this area of interest here. Uh, on easy I'll go with these two resistance levels and then of course the high levels um, up here right so the trades that we want to be taking are these high probability trades now you're gonna notice that on 0.5 sensitivity uh, the buy signals come relatively quickly after we've touched down to this level which is why we're gonna use um, the buy sell signals at 0.5 sensitivity now when I talk about rules for entering and exiting what does that mean well that means you need a list of rules that you have to follow before you enter a trade Right. The first rule for me is one, does price come to a level? All right. Does price come to a level that I'm looking at? You can see this area of interest here um, has rejected one, two, three, four, five times. Right. It was previous uh, resistance. Right. For a while. One, two, three, four, five broke out. And now it's acting as support. That tells me anytime price comes to this level until proven otherwise, I'm going to be taking longs at these levels. Now, what you could do is enter with a limit order, right? With a tight stop loss um, at these levels. I don't do that. I wait for price to come to this level and then watch how uh, the candles react around these levels. And another indicator I use to help me out with this uh, is Vu Manchu Cypher B. Right? I use a Vu Manchu Cypher B for the divergences and the dots, right? As you can see, there's this resistance level right here, right? We have a swing failure of this high candle right here. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, that's totally fine. You'll understand it in a second. We have a swing failure right here. Um, so that tells me, you know, if we retrace under this candle, we're going to come back down uh, and we get a sell signal with a red dot, right? We get a sell signal right around here. Um, so you could have, you know, wait for the red dot, maybe entered on this candle. I would have entered on this sell signal, okay? And we're going to put our stop loss above previous swing high and we're going to target the next support level, right? So we're targeting this support level. 
okay? Whatever happens in the middle of this range, we don't care about. We're already in the trade. We entered at a high level, and now we're waiting for uh, the price to come down to this low level to take profit, all right? So that's a 2.5 risk to reward ratio, almost 3% move. And we do the same thing uh, on the way back, right? We come down here. We see we, we're getting some of these bullish divergences. Um, I want to wait till price comes to this low level, all right? I want to wait until price comes to this low level. What do you know? It hits this level. We have a blue dot, right? We have a blue dot before the buy signal. We're going to take that trade at that blue dot. We have, you know, some bullish divergences, right? At this low level. And then we get that blue dot. And you can see, you know, this candlestick pattern. Um, it looks like buyers are starting to push the price up from this level. So we're going to put our stop loss below previous swing low um, somewhere around here. Uh, and we're going to take profit at the next resistance level, right? Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, we're taking profit, all right? A three risk to reward ratio, another two and a half percent move on the five minute time frame. Right? We're just waiting for price to reach these high levels and taking a trade. Now there are gonna be stop outs, right? For example, we come back up to this level, we get this red dot, right? We get this red dot, um, and that would have been a stop out trade, all right? So we lost, you know, 0.4% stop out on that trade, right? Let's look for another one. We have a bearish divergence right here. You know, we're gonna enter that trade as well, right? Another 0.4% loss. That is a stop out, right? So now we're at two stop outs, okay? And another bearish divergence right here. And we're at this high level, right? And we're gonna enter that trade right there. Stop loss above previous swing high, right at around here. All right, and we're targeting the next support level. All right, so that's a 4% move. So that's just made up for you know the 2.4% stop outs with a seven risk to reward ratio in one trade. So we have you know one, two, three winning trades and we have two little stop outs, all right? These are the trades that we're looking for. You're gonna have stop outs, okay? It's, in a, it's inevitable. There's no trading strategy that's gonna be 100% accurate, all right? And I'm showing you this real time, right? So like this isn't, this isn't me showing you previous price action. This is showing you like realistic um, expectations when you get easy algo, the trades that you're going to be taking. It's not rocket science. It's not difficult. You know, people are overcomplicating this so much. You know, what sensitivity do I use? What are the best settings? You know, what should I use for the SR2 time frame? Guys, it doesn't really matter. You know, my sensitivity could be 2.5. I'm not entering based off the buy sell signals, right? I'm entering based off the support and resistance levels on the five minute time frame, and I'm using Vu Manchu Cypher B as confirmation. There is no specific strategy there's no perfect combination of indicators you're just playing the levels that's all you're doing all right let me let me show you guys another trade right so we came back down to this low level with this blue dot with this blue dot we can see buyers are pushing the price up then we get this doji candle on the on the following one i would have just entered right here on this doji candle okay stop loss below previous swing low maybe right around there and we're going to take profit at this resistance level again all right, at this resistance level, a six risk to reward ratio, another two and a half percent move. We're gonna do that on the way down, all right? Red dot, right at resistance with a sell signal. There's a swing failure of this area. So you could have taken you know, a short when you're up here. If you're not as experienced with swing failure patterns and it's hard for you to time those entries, that's totally fine. You're gonna wait for the, the red dot on Vu Manchu um, when you're at a resistance level. And you know, we, got a, we got a sell signal as well, so that's perfect. All right, we're going to target the next support level. You know, maybe right around here when it started to reverse up. Bam, all right? 2.5 risk to reward ratio, 2% move. All right, we're, we're just playing the levels. Now look at this, ready? We're doing the same thing. Blue dot, buy signal. <laughs> you know, right? Take profit at the resistance level. 2.6 risk to reward, another 2% move. Bearish divergence, red dot, confirms on this candle. We're entering that trade. All right, stop loss above previous swing high. Targeting, guys, you, you're, you're watching this play out real time. All right, you're watching a, a four risk to reward ratio. People ask, how is it possible to turn a, a $500 into $2,000? Some guy told me, right? He said, this, this is, must be a scam. There's absolutely no way that someone could turn $500 into $2,000 in a day. Guys, I know people in the Discord who are making literally hundreds of thousands of dollars a day in profit starting with a couple thousand dollars, all right? I literally know them and I talk to them. So just because it seems too good to be true to you, you have to understand when you have a system in place, it's possible. I'm not saying you're gonna be able to do it first try. 
I'm not saying that I even do numbers like that, right? Because I don't even do that. But what I will say is that when you have a strategy in place, you know, and, and you take into consideration compounding accounts, you know, I had someone uh, DM me today saying he 20 X his account in a day. All right, he 20 X his account in a day. I'm actually gonna be bringing him on uh, shortly for like an interview. Um, so you guys can actually hear it from, from these users themselves. If you think like this is, out of this world like crazy complicated it's not you're just playing the levels you guys need to stop over complicating it you guys need to write down a list of rules um when to enter when to exit follow the strategy all right follow the strategy and expect some losing trades you're not going to win a hundred percent of your trades especially with the recent price action my win rate is like 70 80 percent all right personally my win rate using the strategies that i teach you are 70 to 80 percent and that is with good risk management with tight stop losses okay so if i can do it and users can do it brand new users you can do it as well take a notepad out take a pen write down your strategy and follow the rules you're playing the levels all right people are are so concerned with the small details right should i be using the stop loss should i be using the sr2 um you know should i even be using the buy sell signal should i use vumanchu cipher b what other indicators should i use you guys are just making it so incredibly complicated for yourselves. And like, I know I might sound a little bit heated right now, but I just want you guys to understand it's not complicated, right? I'm not going to say it's easy. I'm not going to say it's a get rich quick scheme. It's not right. It's trading. There's risk involved. You need to know how to manage your risk. First of all, if you throw your entire account in each trade, you're going to get liquidated and lose everything. I can't help you with that. If you have good risk management, right? The way I teach and you use the strategies I teach and you play the levels you can see it for yourself, right? You can see it for yourself. I'm not making anything up. I'm not going back weeks in advance to show you guys picture perfect price action. You can do this all the time. If you're in a ranging market, this is how you can trade. This is how you do it. All right. There's no secret. There's no magic combination of indicators. This is it. Please leave a like on this video. If you have enjoyed subscribe to the channel for more trading content. I hope you guys learned something and I hope this was a wake up call. Um, if you don't have a strategy in place and you're blindly following the signals, I hope you have more clarity now uh, and know what to do in the future. But that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next video.